Get biblical understanding along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all I getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 190 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all of the biblical verses that have to do with life in Christ. The following verses are simply wonderful reminders of what every born-again believer is to rejoice in and do as he or she walks with our God and Savior. Let them all glorify Him in our hearts and minds. Again, the theme of this series is life in Christ. Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 to 14. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 12 to 13 that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 7. But God, who is rich in mercy, For his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God. For a sweet smelling savor. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 25 to 27. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 23 to 24. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Written from Rome unto the Ephesians by Tychicus. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding.